So, what's in the box? We're about to find out. I went ahead and took it out of the box because I find unboxing videos to be a little bit boring. But anyway, if you uh, are one of the two people at this point who watched the last video, you'll know I mentioned at the very end of it that I was looking to get a uh, guitar to make into a primarily a slide guitar and uh, that I might be getting a Firefly. Um, and that's exactly what I did. So uh, this is what I wound up with. It is the Firefly FFDC. Uh, which is double cut Les Paul special style guitar, as you can see. Um, so I will give you a little bit of a rundown of everything on it. Um, there aren't a ton of reviews out there on this guitar. Um, so let's go over it a little bit. All right, so we have a mahogany body. Um, as best I can tell, there are three pieces of mahogany here. Uh, you have a mahogany neck as well with a rosewood fretboard. Now, this is a very light piece of rosewood um, it, but you have stainless steel ball in frets which is actually really nice um, so this guitar was 196 dollars to my door um, so getting stainless steel ball in frets is pretty good at that price i have not found any high frets uh, so far i've played it a little bit uh, moving down here to the headstock, uh, the tuners uh, feel nice enough. This one is a tiny bit loose, but we can, we can tighten that up with a little screwdriver. That's nothing unusual, like even high-end guitars, those tuners can come a little, loose a little bit. It's not a big deal at all. Um, one thing that I found pleasantly surprised is the knobs. These are very smooth. They aren't shaky at all. Um, a lot of import guitars. Um, I've had a couple of the newer Epiphones that are, you know, considered pretty reputable. Had kind of dodgy knobs and uh, the switch had problems with the switch on both of them. This switch, very solid, very firm feeling. Um, I'm sure that the metal work here on the bridge and tailpiece, it's probably not the highest quality metal in the world, but you know, that's part of what makes the guitar affordable. Uh, the two P90 pickups, um, actually sound really, really good. Um, got no complaints whatsoever with those. Uh, we'll do a little bit of a sound demo of it here in a bit. Uh, the guitar out of the box um, setup wise is not too bad. Um, could probably use a little bit of a truss rod adjustment. Uh, got a little bit high action right there. Uh, to me personally, that's not a deal breaker. A lot of people complain about that with budget guitars. Like it's being shipped from Asia, it's going to California in this in the case of this guitar. And then to me in Virginia, and it is summertime here. It's ungodly humid. So I, I fully expect that I'm gonna to have to make some adjustments to any guitar um, that I get going across the country into a totally different environment. I'm gonna get it restrung and uh, make it a little bit more playable that way. Get that fretboard cleaned up. You've always got the, uh, the grime you know, from the factory on that. So we'll get a restrung here, set up a little bit better and uh, get it set up to uh, do some slide work on it while still trying to be playable without a slide. All right, so that fretboard was super dry. A little bit of uh, the Dunlop oil there made a huge difference in it. Um, still maybe not like the prettiest piece of rose whatever, but looks much better now and uh, definitely clean and that up. I'm going with some Ernie Ball Power Slinkies 1148s. Um, we're going to give these a try, um, see if I need to go possibly even a string gauge bigger, but we're going to test out the 11s and see how that works uh, for slide. All right, and here we are a day later. I've uh, got the guitar all set up, got the uh, 11 gauge strings on it, and got the action set a little bit higher. Um, it's not unplayable without a slide, um, so kind of be able to pull a little bit of double duty with it. But here we go, let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Thank you. 
I set it up to do to mainly be a slide guitar. Still got a lot of work to do on my actual slide playing, but at least I have a guitar now that's a little bit more accommodating to that style. Um, and I will give you a, a few sounds here, um, not using this. just fine. Um, the guitar has a lot of uh, bite um, you can, and the rhythm sounds can always get a little bit Telecaster-like. Um, so, so far I'll have to say this is a um, really nice guitar. Um, no complaints on it. Not typically like a budget uh, guitar person um, and that's not you know a brag or anything. I do have you know I'll Gibson Les Paul Standard with some nice pickups in it at the Nash at 63. So, you know, I got this hoping to be a good slide guitar and uh, it seems like it's gonna you know, be able to do that for me. Um, you know, we'll give you some updates in the future and uh, hopefully my slide playing will get better in the meantime. But yeah, so far I'm pretty impressed with the Firefly. Um, no complaints.